Hi guys, this is Miss Gartell, and hi, how are you? Hope everybody is good and doing well. Today what we're going to do is we're going to draw a sea turtle. I have one started here, but I'm gonna start all over again just to show you what we're doing. So we're gonna make a sea turtle under the sea. And um, I used on this one, I used colored pencils and Again, I outlined in the black Sharpie, but you could even just use a black marker as long as you're coloring with colored pencils or with crayons. If you're painting, you have to use a Sharpie because otherwise the markers will, the colors will run. But um, this is what we're going to do. We're gonna work step by step together to create the sea turtle. Okay, and I'm gonna start on your on the post that I have, I have this picture posted with all the steps on how to. I'm gonna do them right here for you and we're gonna start right now. But before you start, let make sure you get all your supplies together, your paper, pencil, eraser, and that's all you need right now because afterwards you can add, you could paint it in. I like to use colored pencils. And I also have some crayons here. So first we're going to do the drawing. And the first step is that we're gonna make the shape of the shell. So we're gonna make sort of like a sunrise or a rainbow shape. And then we're gonna make a smile connecting it so that it almost looks like a lemon, that kind of shape. You can make it a little bit bigger. If it doesn't come out perfect, you know, it's okay. Everything's fine. We have an eraser. We can always fix things afterwards. Then what you're going to do, you're gonna make the same shape inside, leaving that little bit of an edge for that little outer part of the shell for your sea turtle. And now, very lightly, to help us with the design, we're going to make a very light line down through the middle. Try and get it as straight as you can, as even as you can. If you wanna use a ruler, that's fine. But if you just take the pencil and you slide it along with your hands on the paper, it should help steady your hand. So to do these designs on the inside, kind of like what I have right here, oops. Let's move this out of the way. To do that, we have that line in the middle, and now we're gonna make a line over it and a line under it. And this is gonna help us with those designs. And if you can see here, there's one, two, three, four dividing lines. So we're going to put one, two, whoops, three and four. If you made them too far apart or too close together, go back in and change it. That's all. Okay, so I have one. Maybe I'll put the second dividing line here. Then I'll put one here and put one there. Now what we're going to do is you're going to make a triangle on top of each one. And the one on the ends, you're just gonna make a line to the edge of that shell. And then we're gonna go around and do the bottom. So you're gonna make like a V shape, make it into that triangle. And this one just goes right to the edge of the shell. And this one also goes right to the edge of the shell. And there we have this pattern that's gonna go across inside the turtle shell. Okay, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with that at the end, all right? So you have these on the post, on our classroom, uh, the art class. You have this to look at. So now we're going to go and from the corner, from the point of each triangle, we're gonna make a line to the edge. And so it's only really three lines. And then we're gonna go all around that shell and make these little marks for the 
the, these are all just the markings on the shell. And we're just gonna go all around. And I'm going fast so that this video doesn't take forever. But you can stop and watch it again and again till you get it correctly. Okay, now we really don't need those lines inside, but we can leave them there for right now. We're going to make, we're gonna start with the head and that's right over here. And we're just gonna make these two lines here for his neck. And you're almost, I like making it like a, that U shape. Okay, we make everything like a U shape. And then you're going to add, he almost has like a beak. Okay, but we're gonna add like a rounded triangle there for his head. We're gonna put a circle here for his eye and a line there for his mouth. His mouth is actually very pointy. Now you're gonna come all the way across, that's why those lines kind of help us, to the end and we're gonna make the tail. Okay, so the tail is also like, like a V shape at the end. Okay, so we now have our pattern, our head, our tail. We'll add some more details as we go. Um, like in these, for these uh, little pieces, you could go around and just give them a little curve shape all around. I would do that to make it look more like a turtle shell. I don't think I even did that in my other drawing. But, and it still looked okay. Okay, but I would like to do it just to give it a little bit of shape, more shape to your turtle shell. And you can even wait and do that when you're outlining it with the Sharpie. And right over here, let's not forget. Okay, now we're gonna start on his flippers. Okay, so they're right over here, his flippers. All right, and I'll show you, oops, sorry for doing this on my <clears throat> example there we have the flippers okay i'm gonna leave that here so we could see it more easily so we're gonna start here not too far back and it's you're gonna come up and over okay like that it's almost like a boomerang shape that's what i see we're gonna curve this around and come back okay you can even make this a little bit bigger and there it even looks more like a boomerang haven't really ever seen one of those but i think you know what i'm talking about we're going to come over here do the same thing we're going to come around out and around and then the same thing comes over here we're going to come up and then around all right, and you, even here, you can make these little, they're like little bumps. All right, I can make this a little bit bigger. Okay, this is all part of the texture of the turtle. Even these dots are not really just dots, there's texture on the turtle skin. So for his back legs are the easiest, because we're gonna come to about here, and we're gonna make it also like this U shape and back. And right here, let me just, I hope you can see it. And right here also, it's like a big U shape. And back, we make a lot of U shapes. All right, so now you have the basic turtle. You did it, it's great. What I like to do is I like to put these designs, they're almost like starbursts. I was painting, I've been painting turtles a lot. And I saw that some of the shells have this like starburst on the back of a shell. So what I'm gonna do is go back in here and I'm going to erase those extra lines that I don't need anymore, those guidelines. And if they still show a little bit, that's okay. You're gonna color or paint over it. And there we go, those are erased. And we're gonna make these little, they almost look like flowers. I call them starbursts, but they almost look like flower petals, just zigzagging in and out, and in and out like that. Okay, now 
I hear my son is coming home. So if you hear a noise, that's just him coming through. All right, and if you hear the dogs barking, that's the dogs. I can never time these correctly where there's nothing else going on. So now that you have these little starburst shapes, you're gonna go back into the turtle and we're gonna start adding, we're gonna start adding these little dots. And they're really not dots. They're really just textures in the, in the, in the turtle's skin. If you look closely, it's almost like a lizard that has scales. The, the, the turtle has these textures, okay? And the textures then, they, they form colors, they change colors, okay? And I'm sure the age of the turtle has something to do with it. Okay, now once you have that, I put some in the tail, I put some in the feet, And I even put some on his face with his, did, remember we made the eye? I, I would put a nice circle all around that eye and then I'd put another one in the middle for the highlight. And when we go over with Sharpie, you'll see even, even better. And I like to even make lines around his neck because he's got folds in his neck. Remember it goes, his neck goes inside. So we have folds in his neck. And I'm gonna just go over a little bit with my Sharpie to show you. Now, if your parents won't let you use a Sharpie, use a black crayon or use just a plain black Crayola marker, whatever you might have. So here, I have his face, I have that eye, I have the other circle and another circle. And I have his mouth. All right, these are these creases in his neck. We're gonna make, we're gonna outline his flippers and I like to make those little, give him some little bumps on that flip, flipper. That's what helps him swim. Okay, when we go to the shell, this is the inner line that we just drew. And we're gonna make these shapes that we, we're gonna outline the shapes that we just made. So it's, it's better to do that inner line first so that you could see where the lines meet up. And I just do these starbursts in these, but the turtle would really have them in all the little spots on his shell. They're little markings. Okay, so I would go over it like this. Okay, you get the idea of all of them being done. And then when you're doing the, le the leg, you do the, sometimes I save the dots and just put them in with the Sharpie, the tail, add some of those. Now remember when you're doing this outer circle to give that little, make it little bumps, little loops or bumps, whatever you want to call it, to go around that outer shell. Okay, and oops, there we go. And then you can, you're gonna finish doing the rest. I know it looks awkward when it's not all done. I like things outlined but if you really don't want to, you don't have to because you're the boss at home, okay? What I like to do is add some of the things to the bottom of the ocean, like the seaweed, the sea anemones, okay? So what I would do is I would just make like a wavy little line. You could even just make more than one because the ocean isn't, the bottom isn't just totally flat. I would make these sea anemones are easy to make. They're circles and you come on down and then you make these little, they look like flower petals. And these are living organisms under the ocean. Here we can even make one without the petals, like um, the clownfish. 
likes to hide in between these seed anemones to hide from his predators. Okay, so here we have those. If you wanna add some shells, okay, remember to start with the shells is like an E shape, and then we go all around and around and around. We can add a few more shells. I like to even add rocks. So if I add a rock, sometimes I like to add that seaweed coming out of the rocks or from behind, not out of them, but they're like behind them. But it gives your picture more dimension when something is in front of something else and it's not all just flat on the same plane. So we have the, the ocean bottom, we have the rocks, then we have the seaweed that's like behind everything. If you wanna add other little fish, you can certainly add other little fish. That would be fine. But um, you can even put a starfish on the rock. And I like to add some dots for texture because the starfish has a lot of texture. You can add a sand dollar. You could just make all kinds of, can make more things growing out. You can make coral growing. Okay, so you could do a lot of different things at the bottom of your ocean. Our main subject is the turtle. The turtle is in the middle of our picture. And here again is the turtle that I started to color. And I started to add my colors with, with um, color pencil. I think you have a lot of control with the color pencil. You can add a lot more details with the color pencil, but maybe you feel like painting. Okay, so why don't you try it? The basic turtle is what I want you to focus on, and then maybe add some things to your picture to give it a little more depth and interest. So let's see how you do. Draw your picture, send it to me, and we'll see what it looks like. Good luck and have fun. Be colorful and be creative. See you soon. Bye.